I'm Carla Renata, the Curvy Critic. How you guys doing today? I'm good. How you doing? I'm well. I'm well. So there was a moment in the doc where I forget what person said this, but they made a point that no one is really born racist, right? Racism is taught. And our parents, unfortunately, have the task of, you know, teaching us how to code switch to, to make sure that other people aren't uncomfortable around us. Our parents have to teach us what to say and what not to say and what not to do when we are stopped by a police officer in the street for whatever reason. Um, and or being in a neighborhood like Bensonhurst where you're walking and you're gonna get attacked for no reason other than the color of your skin. So having said that, we're in an election year. Do you think that people are gonna get out to vote? And do you think that we are gonna see systemic racism erased in our lifetime? The efforts to make a difference uh, can increase. I think, I think that we will make progress. I think collectively as human beings, we're becoming more and more aware of ourselves and more into our enlightenment and more into being inclusive of other people's perspectives, even within our own minds. I think just as human beings, we are evolving in that way. And, you know, there's hope. I do think that there's hope and that we will become more um, kind to one another, but no, I don't think we will erase it racism at the end of our lifetime. I do, if it's all right, and I don't mean to be any sort of way, I didn't, I didn't know if Victoria's had an answer to that first question. And yeah. uh, I, didn't, I, I wanted to give my opportunity to do that and anyone else to answer the question too, but yeah. Uh, I think that systemic or systematic racism, I think there is a long way off, right? But I think that what's happening is that our response in our community to the systemic racism is gonna change a lot sooner, right? So we may not be able to change the system but we can change how we interact with the system and how much we uh, depend on the system. And I think that if you look at it, uh, each problem at a time, because if you put us all in a room and you ask what the problem is, there'll be a lot of answers, right? And you look at, say, like the Black Panther Party put to the forefront uh, sickle cell anemia in our community, right? And they put the uh, children being malnourished, you know, every morning at school. And that was a response to racist practices as far as healthcare, you know, in our community. And a few years later, the, the system, you know, as we call it, implemented things that, that kind of uh, spoke to that. You know, I don't know if it was righteous, but they spoke to it. So I think that though the, uh, the mind frame of certain people, like Mutali said, it's gonna take a long time for that to, uh, to expire. But I, I do think that if we respond thusly, then we will see uh, some changes, whether they're, they're uh, backhanded or not. Come on, this is one of the most important election cycles that people have to go ahead and get out and vote. And I don't think that people are how they were before, just kind of like let their vote go past. People are realizing how important this is. And if we have to take precautions to get out and vote, if we have to do what we have to do, I don't know what they're gonna do with mail-in ballots or not. I'm not on that side of it. However, I do think people are gonna jump up, jump out, and they're gonna do what they have to do to go ahead and make the right choice whatever that choice may be for you or not, to make the right choice. Also with our racism, I'm an optimism there, with, but systemic racism, it is deeply ingrained for generations and it is going to be extremely difficult to get past it and say to overcome it. So overcome is such a huge word. I think that people are becoming sensitive. I think that the teachings of a lot of people's parents that they put on them, that they grew up thinking a certain way, it's an age of information and people are realizing that it's not how it was before. So I think that things will get better. It won't be totally over because I mean, come on, everybody, people have invested interest in whatever's best for you. People don't vote against their interests. However, I do think that there is gonna be an opportunity for, for, for things to just get, uh, even if a tiny bit better, get better. And we're, because we have opportunities to tell stories like this as well. And I know that that will go ahead and open people's eyes where we, we didn't have the opportunities before. So we're very happy about that. And just to piggyback on Javon said this to so the other side is, you know, when we do vote, you have in the, uh, in the film, the people marched almost 30 times, right? They marched through the snow, which I've never yeah. seen in my lifetime, you know? And so there is a piece where after you do vote and in between votes, there is still mobilization. One of the takeaways is how you had so many different organizations come together 
from the Nation of Islam, you know, to the New Alliance Party with Lenore Fulani, to uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, C. Vernon Mason, you know, they all came together and that defined the movement. And it wasn't where, let's say, one organization defined the movement and then you have other organizations competing against them. So, I mean, I think that this, this film, I know this film, especially since we have a discussion guide that, that accompanies it, this film is really a, uh, a toolkit for a certain aspect of, uh, of liberation. So, you know, I, I think that we won't be able to end prejudice, but racism has a, a very heavy power, you know, component to it. And I think that we could reduce the power of people who are prejudiced. Thank you all for, for answering that question with such in-depth and thoughtful um, answers. I appreciate it. I appreciate your film, Storm Over Brooklyn. It couldn't come at a better time. Thank you so much. Thank you. To keep up with The Curvy Critic, like our page here, click that subscribe button, and click that bell for notifications. Love, peace, and hair grease, y'all.